Hello, hello, Hidden Hermit here. I'm going to do another random reading because, well, it's that time of day really, isn't it? Whoa. Okay, so today is Wednesday the 15th of August. Uh, the sun is in Leo, the moon is in Libra. Um, it is 5.30am British summer time. Today I'm using Pixie, my weightsmith. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of a shuffle. But before we get into actually slinging some cards, it'd be a good idea to find out who this reading is for. So, here is the moon card. Here is the sun card. Here is some magic dice. They're totally magic, I swear. I swear they're magic. My deck has been cleansed, as have I. I have been meditating. Everything's groovy. I'm up for this. I hope you are too. So, who's this for? Okay, so we've got uh, Gemini, Sun in Gemini and Moon in Libra. How freaky is that? The Moon is indeed in Libra. Almost, almost. So we've got a summer sign with the, with the Libra Moon. Okay, so are you a Gemini? Do you like to talk a lot? Uh, is your Moon in Libra? Do you have a strong sense of justice? If so, this reading could very well be for you. I'm going to stick with my standard five card reading for the random readings. Um, one card to give me an idea of what's going through your heart or your mind. One card to give an idea, some direction to the, to the what's the word I'm looking for, the, the situation, or whatever the situation is. And then three cards just telling me the past, present and future energies of the situation. Um... Pixie, my weightsmith, has indeed been cleansed and shuffled, but I'm just doing this, just so you know, I'm not making this up. Or planning it even. I think that would be worse, isn't it, if I planned a reading. How terrible would that be? Okay, here we go, here we go. So, first card, that is what is going through your heart and mind. This is the nature of the situation, whatever the situation may be. <clears throat> I don't know that. You know that. I don't. You might not know it. This might give you a clue. This is um, the energies leading up to the current situation. This is the vibe of the situation Is it is at the moment. And this is where the situation is going if nothing changes. And a possible outcome if, if indeed nothing changes. So here we go. Uh, Gemini with a Libra moon. So we've got the five of the cups here. So this is, you've, you've been feeling really sort of nostalgic and you, you've been pondering past times and you've been looking back fondly about this. So, so yeah, you're in, you're in a pretty good nostalgic mood. Sometimes nostalgia can bring sadness and sometimes it can bring um, complete happiness. So you're going to know how you're feeling about a situation. I always think this car's really weird. I think the people are kind of out of proportion because it looks like a massive child giving a cup to an old lady. I think that's kind of funny. There's probably a reason for that as well. I do not know what it is. It might just be an optical illusion. Who knows? So, the general vibe of the situation is... Okay, we got the full. <coughs> Excuse me. So, maybe... Um, well, I mean, if these two cards together are fascinating in themselves, really, aren't they? So, you may be feeling nostalgic. You may be feeling... Um, you may be pondering the past. And you may also, at the same time, be looking forward to... Um, to new endeavours. Maybe you're you're moving on from one thing into another thing, and this is the the you know that innocence of the full card. Alternatively, you could be thinking nostalgically about a certain situation, and if I was to do that upside down, this is probably could possibly be a foolish thing to do. A lot of people always give the full card as a as a positive thing, but you, you need to be wary. It may just mean that there has been some foolish thinking going on. I don't know. You know, right? Do you know? Okay, so the vibes and the energies leading up to this full card situation um, is uh, one of hope. One of hope. Who doesn't love the star, eh? Who doesn't love the star? And um, so so already, interestingly, so the, the four is very much associated with the element of air. 
as is the star, which is corresponding to uh, Aquarius, which, despite the fact that it sounds um, watery, it is an air sign, as is Libra, as is Gemini. So, mm, crikey, there's definitely an airy vibe going on here. Uh, the energies pertaining to the situation as it currently stands is the world. This is this is incredibly positive, positive spread. Uh, the world is not airy. The world is um, well. The world has have a, an airy element, but is ruled by Saturn. So, and in well, yeah, the, the the world and the fall as well. The first and the last cards of the major arcana. This could be the the, the length and breadth of of this situation is i'm not going to say vague it's just it's huge it's huge the beginning and the end the past and the hope okay so the future vibe um the possible outcome is oh the five of cups uh the, the card preceding this one so we've got some interesting interesting vibes of beginnings ends and, and going forward now the five of cups um it does give you that sort of vibe of sadness loss and disappointment um it is mars and scorpio which goes against everything else in these cards um the the, the, the sorry the six of cups is is the sun in scorpio so you do have a bit of a correspondence there um but yeah interesting reading what is going on gemini eh what is going on you gemini's are usually so so confident and assured with yourself is this a situation where you you've been thinking back nostalgically and you're looking forward to a situation with with this with this past vibe in mind is that something that's going to be foolish is that going to lead to this disappointment um leading up to this to this change or this new endeavor or this looking back you, you your heart is full of hope your heart is full of hope and currently you you think that the world <laughs> the world is your oyster such a such a dull platitude i do apologize um but yeah i think you're going to have to be wary gemini you're going to have to be wary about um looking at things with rose colored spectacles another ridiculous platitude what is wrong with me i i swear i've drunk loads of coffee so yeah this this situation can possibly lead to a, a sense of disappointment if you're not careful and it's very much all these these cards are so linked these cards are so linked i don't know gemini what's going on what's going on gemini what have you been thinking about what have you been thinking about a little too much perhaps what have you been thinking about um have you is this sort of train of thought so large that you need to be focusing on something something a, a little smaller perhaps do you need to be looking forward rather than back to avoid this disappointment please keep the hope in your heart absolutely absolutely keep your hope in your heart but but yeah um you gemini's you you love to think you love to you love to take in so much don't you you take in so much you need to be looking forward rather than back to avoid this disappointment what a fascinating interesting spread if you're a gemini leave leave what's on your mind in the comments because this is this is a mind-boggling it's mind-boggling what a crazy crazy reading i wish i knew what you were thinking about gemini i really do I really do. So yeah, there's your random reading. Um, you know, you Gemini's, you're very good at moving on from something. So, you know, once you you go through this process and you come to your your, you know, this this forlorn feeling of of, of disappointment, um, you, you move on so quickly. You Gemini's, you're just like, that's it, done. And the one thing I love about the Five of Cups is, you know, you got this person who's clearly a bit. Uh, bummed out if you like because he's kicked over these three cups but there's there's two that are standing still just behind him so and you know you gemini's are so good at uh moving on from a situation not letting it bug you so i think you know as you were gemini but yeah what a cracking spread these these strange correspondences um like i say pixie was shuffled completely but you got that beginning and the end and you got that got that natural transition 
at the beginning and the end. Cracking. I'm going to take a picture of this. This is going on Instagram. All right, Gemini, with your Libra moon. Um, I can't imagine how this is going to help anybody, <laughs> but I've really enjoyed it. So thank you, thank you very much. Hidden Hermit. See you later.